Okay, I realize there's no way I'm going to get away with making this video without looking just ghastly sick, which I am. <laughs> I've been so out of it for the past week. I have um, an ovarian cyst, and those suckers are pretty damn painful. I had one removed back in March. I actually got surgery on my birthday, so that was fun. So, um, I'm out of it. I'm loopy. I'm pain medicine. I'm not feeling well, but my priorities are straight because I'm here filming a, uh, the fall tag. Um, I think Jacqueline Hill was the one who came up with it, so I wasn't tagged by anybody in particular, but tags are for anybody, right? So I thought I'd, um, do it. So we'll just work our way down the list. The first thing is favorite fall candle. Um, I'm going to show you one that I have and then mention one that I actually don't have, but I plan on having soon. Um, it's this one I got from Ross a long time ago. It's not like a fall candle in any way. It's called African Sunset. Super vague, but I guess that's what it smells like. And honestly, it just smells like pumpkin spice. It's got that nice, sweet, kind of spicy scent to it. So, um, really liking that one. The other one that I like, I know everybody's about Bath and Body Works. I honestly don't buy a lot of candles from there, but I always smell them when I walk by. And the one that's been on my brain the most since I smelled it is the Marshmallow Fireside. Um, I didn't buy it because my daughter didn't like it, and we're temporarily sharing a room right now, so I kind of got to respect what she likes to smell too. But I just love that, like, she said it smelled like something burning, and that's exactly what I love. I mean, obviously, Fireside you know, roasting marshmallows, or in my case, I love burnt marshmallows. Like, the more burnt, the better. So, um, it's exactly what it smells like. It just smells like a roasting fireside marshmallow, and it is amazing and delicious, and I don't know, I might pick it up. She tends to change her mind about stuff like that. So, um, the next thing is my favorite fall lip color. I have a couple of favorites, but if I had to choose one, um, it would probably be this NYX Butter Lipstick and Pops. It's just a perfect, like, your lips but better shade. Um, it's really subtle, um, very creamy, very moisturizing. I think that's why I like it. Out of all the fall shades, like, I like this kind of shade, and there's a lot of them out there. But I think I like this one the most because it is very moisturizing, and my lips get very dry <laughs> during the fall, like, when the weather starts to cool down so um that's what it looks like right there <laughs> um it's just like a mauvey pinky nude brown very very pretty I imagine it would go good with a lot of different skin tones um up next is my favorite drink so call me basic but I do love me a pumpkin spice latte <laughs> um I mention it because I actually like it this year. Last year I didn't drink them at all. I've never really been a big fan. They've always been too sweet, um, which gives me a headache. Uh, like I don't like that salted caramel mocha. It's too sweet for me. But this year I heard that they changed their pumpkin spice latte recipe and I tried it and I actually really, really like it. Um, but I think the big thing that's very, I would drink that all year round, but the thing that's fall specific for me is tea. I get really, in, when the weather cools down, I get really into drinking hot tea in the evening. So, oh, and I should have grabbed a, a bag, but there's, um, um, I forget what the brand is, but there's a detox tea I've been drinking. It's like spiced dandelion and something or other. I'll put it in the, in the description box down below, but, um, it is, delicious and it really does help to kind of clean you out. I've been drinking that a lot lately because I'm just full of bad stuff. I feel it. But tea is probably the biggest thing that's like very fall specific. Um, but my favorite too, pumpkin spice lattes and you can only find those in the fall. So I would have to say both for two different reasons. Um, okay. So the next favorite that they listed is blush and it's actually in this elf palette now I um I was walking through Target the other day and I walked past elf and I saw all these single blushes that were pretty that were a pretty good size each I think they were three bucks each and I didn't take stop to really take a look at them very closely 
but I had never seen them there before, so I imagine they might be selling these colors individually now, which I'm pretty excited about, because there's one color in here that I would specifically like to get, and that would be this brown one right here. It was the one that I thought I'd like the least when I first bought this palette, but I like how natural it is. Um, it may look more bronzy, but it's not. It's actually got a really, really nice um, very subtle kind of nude glow, which I really like for the fall. See, that's it right there. I really like for the fall. I'm not really into like bright pink cheeks during the fall and winter months. Um, I, I save that more for like the summer, like a, like a bright flush on a hot summer day. Um, I'm more into this kind of, you see it right there right under the lipstick swatch. Um, I really like um, that kind of color more for the fall. Favorite clothing item? I've been waiting all year to wear this again and I've been wearing it nonstop. In fact, it's dirty right now. I'm showing you guys a dirty article of clothing. Um, I pulled it out of the dirty clothes I have to wash because I've been wearing it like every single day. It's so comfy, um, but it's this cardigan. It's just got this crazy black and white pattern on it. It's so comfy. It's so flattering. It doesn't have any buttons down the bottom or anything. Let me see what brand it is. I got it from this place called Plato's Closet, which um, they do, like, you can buy and sell clothes from there, and you get discounts if you sell them clothes. Where is the... Oh, it's a Forever 21 jacket and it's in a large which I usually don't shop in the straight sizes I usually shop in the plus size at forever 21 um but yeah it's my favorite it's like the perfect thickness I don't like anything too thick because I do run pretty hot so even when it's cold outside I don't want anything too thick and you can pull it off even when it gets a little warmer like a warm fall day not a summer day obviously but a warm fall day so that by far has to be my favorite clothing I'd wear it every day if I could but um, things need to get washed or people don't like to be around you because you start to stink um, my favorite movie okay everybody says hocus pocus I'm not gonna say hocus pocus what am I gonna say I should have thought about this um, you know what, I like, I mean, Nightmare Before Christmas is kind of a holiday movie. It starts to get real popular this time of year, right? I honestly don't have a favorite, like, fall movie specifically. I think I get into certain genres when the weather cools down. Like, I get into real, like, sappy love stories. Like, there's nothing like huddling up on a cold, rainy day and just watching a really sappy love story, whether it's got a happy ending or a sad ending, and just crying your eyes out. I think I have seasonal effect disorder, which the acronyms are sad. I think I get sad during the winter. I'm so solar powered. So when it starts to like get darker earlier or anything like that, I just, my body shuts down and I like to have me a good cry and love movies usually help that. So I think I get more into like a specific genre when the weather cools down, but as far as a specific fall movie, I don't know. I mean, who doesn't like Hocus Pocus and Nightmare Before Christmas, right? Um... Home Alone is my favorite Christmas movie. <laughs> I love that movie. It's, um, and again, who doesn't? Oh, but apparently this is their, their 25th anniversary of the movie from when the movie came out. God, doesn't that make you feel old? Um, but it's the 25th anniversary of when the movie came out. So I don't know if they're doing this everywhere, but locally they're doing on Christmas on December 25th, they're showing, uh, um, Nightmare Before Christmas, they're showing Home Alone um, for its anniversary, which is pretty cool. Sorry, I'm getting real rambly. I'm on a lot of pain medicine. Not gonna lie, I'm on drugs. That's okay, a doctor told me it was okay. <laughs> Favorite TV show? Again, I don't watch TV too regularly. One thing that me and my daughter have been getting into, and we're always into this, but like on Food Network, those baking championship like challenges we really like those and they've been doing a halloween baking um championship so we like to watch those like we like cupcake wars cake wars all that stuff and we like to predict who's gonna get voted off so um 
I would have to say the Holiday Baking Championship on Food Network has been, as far as like seasonally, my favorite thing. My favorite Thanksgiving food. Okay. Well, when when you say favorite Thanksgiving food, I'm thinking like the actual food, not dessert. So I love stuffing, man. Stuffing just makes everything. And I don't. I like simple stuffing. I don't like when people try to put like walnuts or pecans or apples into it. Like no, 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 no. I mean, just basic stuffing, so good. Um. I like the cranberry sauce that comes in a can, too. I mean, if I had to choose one, I would choose stuffing. But for some reason, I'm just a big fan of that shape and the sound it makes when it comes out of the can. Just, for me, screams Thanksgiving. That's so trashy, isn't it? I don't like homemade cranberry sauce. I only like the canned stuff. Um, and then, of course, pumpkin pie. I know I'm supposed to pick one, but how can you pick just one? Nobody eats one thing. Nobody even eats one plate. That's just one thing. Um, but I like pumpkin, as far as dessert goes, pumpkin pie is my jam with lots of lots of whipped cream. You know the drill. Not Cool Whip. My grandmother used to buy Cool Whip, and I used to love it as a kid. But growing up, maybe my taste is a little bit more refined. I don't know, but that stuff's just all oil and sugar. It's gross. So, no, I need the real stuff. Um... And then the last one is favorite costume. So when I was five, uh, I dressed up like Belle from Beauty and the Beast, like the big yellow dress. And that was like my favorite. Like that has stood out through the years. I always like every Halloween, I'm like, oh, I remember that Belle costume. In fact, my daughter today, she wore a costume just like it. She's in first grade. So she's a year older than I was. But her costume, she's Sleeping Beauty. And it's got the poof. It's got like the the hoop at the bottom so it goes out real far getting her into the car this morning was a mess that was real hard on her but um it's so cute it's like a little flashback like she's got a fancy princess dress memory just like me I'm sure that'll be her favorite costume as well but yeah I think that was my favorite costume there was I think when she was two she was also Dorothy and that was a super cute costume like she had um, she had like a little set of fringe bangs and little tiny pigtails and, um, that was definitely a good memory. I like that costume. She was cute. I even got her glittery red shoes, so. <sighs> but anyway, that's the fall tag. Um, sorry if I'm kind of MIA for a while. Like I said, I'm really not feeling good, but I wanted to get this filmed and posted before Halloween, because I feel like after Halloween, like, yeah, you're in, still in the fall and Thanksgiving is coming up, but it's like... I just for some reason wanted to get it up before Halloween. So, sorry I look such a mess. I realize that I do. Um, hopefully I can get all of this solved because I'm just sick and tired of being sick and tired. You know what I mean? But anyway, if you like this video, like, subscribe. I'm not going to tag anybody specific. I know it's a fall tag, but I want to tag everybody. I want to hear from everybody. Everybody should do this. Uh, they're really fun. Kind of share what your favorites are. So, all right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.